Hey guys, today I have a video if you jailbroke uh, your iPhone 3G or 3GS on 4.2.1 and did the unlocked version of the jailbreak updating your baseband and now you're trying to restore and you realize you get stuck in a boot loop and nothing's working, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So this is, I'll link to the two videos that referred that that are of the jailbreak in which you just did so so you'll understand if you're at the state in which this will help you or not so you're on the new baseband 4.2.1 and once you hit restore you should go into a boot loop and you won't ever be able to turn on your iPhone but there is hope because you can obviously fix it because that's the whole point of this video and don't worry I'll show you how so go to Safari just search Flexburns and go to this link or go to the description now click on the first slider and you're going to find iPhone 3G or 3GS, depending on which one you have, and then 4.1. And you're going to tap that and then hit download. And it will be downloaded. And you're going to need that for the next step. In the next step, you're going to attach your iPhone to the computer, then hold both the sleep and home button for like 10 or 20 seconds until it turns on and shows up like this if it's not already. And then it'll say iTunes has detected recovery mode so you hit OK and then when it says restore what you're going to do is hit I believe it's shift on the PC but on the Mac it's alt click restore and then you'll it'll go to a folder in which you'll choose something and mine is actually in the downloads and this is it so it should look like that iPhone 4.1 and it should be in the IPS, IPSW if your computer changed it which um, some browsers like unpack it into folders and try a different browser Chrome doesn't unpack it so use Chrome I guess if it has and you'll, it'll look like that little uh, zoom in on it look like a little icon like you can see there and then you just hit choose and then you hit restore Now it will say extracting and stuff will happen on the iPhone in a few minutes and it'll take like this for me it will take probably around a half an hour so I'll be back when that's done. Shortly after you should have a bar and once this finishes loading I'll continue the video. And when you do that it will appear like this and on your screen will say this iPhone could not be restored an unknown error 1015 so you're just going to hit OK and now you're going to have to um, just hit OK here. Now what you're going to do is download Tiny Umbrella for the Mac. You can use iReb for the PC and that's pretty self-explanatory. Just download iReb and then click the Fix button. And for Tiny Umbrella is for the Mac. So you can um, just uh, open it up, hit the device. This is a recovery device. And then hit exit recovery and then your device should show an apple like this and if all goes well it will exit the recovery and boot up and since this is a th iPhone 3G it might take a little while but you can see a bar will go across the phone and I'll continue from when this actually it's going a lot faster than I thought And there you go. You'll have this with slide for emergency. Just hit back. Now, if you have a valid SIM card, it will work in iTunes and you'll be done. However, this is a 3G 
in which I upgraded to the iPhone 4 thus I have a smaller SIM card which won't fit in this so we'll have I'll have to bypass that and I'll show you you can click the video right now and I'll show you how to buy how to bypass this if you're stuck because you don't have a SIM but you still have the iPhone and that's basically what you're doing so if you have that you can click the annotation to go to the video which will fix that and I'll continue off making that video now